Hello and welcome back to our Planet Coaster Harder Challenge Mode series. And uh, compared to our last episode, this one is going to be significantly shorter. Uh, but we are going to do uh, quite a bit of work here. Uh, and uh, before we get into that, if you are new to the series, uh, in this series we set some rules that are going to pop up on the screen here shortly uh, that we have to abide by as we're going through. The only one that we are uh, a little bit straying away from is the transport rides, and that's because I'm trying to figure out what is the appropriate price that we should be using for those. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, in this episode, we are building our next roller coaster, and it has been a long time in the making. Uh, we have needed to do this, but uh, unfortunately in this episode, we do not get to open this thing. It doesn't the layout gets completed and a portion of the theming uh, over by Rally Racers does get completed. Uh, but, uh, you know, my goal was never to open it this episode, so uh, we uh, focus on uh, just getting it built here. So, uh, you can see here we are lining up. I did want to do a little bit of a flyby. It is going to be a smaller wooden roller coaster. Uh, it's made with the Gnarler in game. And uh, uh, it's going to be a, a little bit of a GCI uh, family coaster, but uh, it actually turns out to be one of the more intense uh, coasters in the park. Uh, that's considering we have Steel Eagle and uh, uh, Empyrean. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I really like the way it comes out. Uh, it does have a lot of quick, fast transitions, a lot of little air time pops. Uh, and uh, some high-speed turns. So uh, the hardest part of this entire layout was this final turnaround uh, that we're about to get into. Uh, uh, and you can see uh, this first version that I made, it is extremely compact turn there. Uh, and the, the coaster, because it's so small, it is going at a high rate of speed there. So uh, we do have to uh, revisit this in the future. Uh, but uh, we eventually will do that here a little bit later on. So, um, yeah, uh, again, this is a, meant to be a, a little bit more of a compact family coaster. Uh, not a lot going on. Of course, we are going to have two trains. Uh, it is going to have smaller trains um, than uh, most GCIs. Uh, I guess more comparable to, like, Invader in Busch Gardens Williamsburg. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm really happy with the way it turned out and the way it goes through the, uh, foliage and the theming that we have here on, uh, the last portion of this, uh, of the track, uh, really, really makes, uh, makes me feel good about it. So, uh, you can see we are, uh, working on getting, uh, the transfer track. Uh, I did not want the transfer track to be underneath, uh, the uh, c coaster that's going up above there. Uh, so uh, we had to uh, readjust that, but we do get that in here. Uh, we don't do any theming work on that. Um, we do uh, quite a bit of smoothing here, um, but right now we're just kind of testing everything, uh, seeing uh, what's going on and uh, you know how everything looks, making sure we get the colors, because obviously it's not going to be white. But here we go into the uh, the smoothing portion of it, and uh, you know we did use the four meter method for most of it, uh, and uh, essentially what that is is you know you build the entire coaster in four meter sections. Uh, now I do not use the snap tool or the uh, the angle tool to make sure it's uh, on specific angles. Um, I kind of line it up where I think it is, so then hopefully the smooth tool has to do as little work as possible. Uh, but uh, we do a couple passes here, uh, trying to get this. Uh, the first drop is definitely a little odd at spots, but uh, I think it kind of smooths out pretty good. And then uh, we haven't revisited the last uh, big U-turn there. Um, so, uh, you know, that, I'm, I'm, I was hoping at one point here that the, uh, smoothing would kind of iron out the forces on that a little bit. Um, and, you know, it does, for the game's sake, it actually does, and it looks, 
it would it would function pretty well. Um, you know, all it was all green across the board when I do uh, finally let it test. Um, but uh, when I actually pulled up the lateral G forces, I did not like the way uh, how high they were in that area. So that's why I went back and uh, made those changes here uh, coming up uh, in the future. So. Um, yeah, uh, just focusing on uh, really trying to get this uh, this first drop uh, to uh, iron out here. You can see we're starting to look there. You can see it was a pretty significant purple uh, around that. And then as we added more banking, uh, it certainly kind of loosened it up a little bit. But uh, I still I still wasn't pleased with the way the whole thing was turning out. Plus uh, how I was having to uh, try and smooth it. So. Uh, we, uh, we actually let it sit for, uh, for a while like this, uh, before we come back and, uh, and fix it. And you can see we're going to take a quick ride on it. Um, <laughs> we're done before because it's so sped up. Um, and you can see I'm, I'm really trying to look and see what, what it's going to look like. But, um, yeah, again, uh, the... The rest of the stats were looking really good. It was just that one turn that I think just had too high of G forces. So uh, we do go and dig out uh, some of the land where uh, it was dipping into. Uh, I was debating about kind of elevating it up a little bit, but now I thought I wanted it to be uh, a little bit lower to the ground here. I didn't want it as high of a profile uh, into the skyline, and uh, it really isn't going to have much of a skyline impact at all. So. Um, and uh, that's fine because we're going to have some other larger items come in here uh, in the future. And obviously we have the uh, hyper junk that's not anywhere close to being completed here. Um, but, uh, you know, we are getting closer to it. So that's that's pretty nice as well. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, right now I'm working on seeing if I can get it to uh, what the the min and max wait times are going to be. I don't know why I focused on doing that a little bit. You can also see I opened up Seer Squad here uh, and started messing with some of the prices uh, and I uh, royally messed them up. So um, in the live portion we do go over that a little bit more in detail but you'll see me bouncing over there checking and seeing what's going on with that because uh, we did have a couple months where it was profitable uh, which is crazy so uh now you can see uh we start to reform this turn um uh and we start we just have it come back to the mountain a little bit more uh or to the to rally racers uh and that's just so we can have a little bit more space for this turn and i think uh just that little bit of space makes a big difference for us the lateral G forces are still pretty high on it, but uh, uh, they were in a spot that I was uh, I was pleased with. Plus, I really like the way it looks, um, so uh, I was happy with that. Now we did have to make some adjustments because uh, uh, the riders could touch that track on that side, so we had to uh, go back and adjust that. I didn't realize that right away here, so. Uh, we have to go back and try and fix that. And you can see the purple is a slightly lighter shade of purple, uh, which was good for lateral Gs. So, uh, and I was trying to increase the vertical Gs uh, while I'm I'm working on that. So, yeah. Uh, and then for whatever reason, one last little turn into the break run is probably the part that is uh, uh, the scariest part in a ride, according to the game, which I don't understand that, but. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, once we get that going, uh, we start finishing up Rally Racers, and that was the main focus for this episode. Obviously, it gets overshadowed by, uh, the new roller coaster, um, but, uh, we, I, I do not like when rides are not complete and they are open, so, uh, I knew I had to open it last episode because of where the state that the park was in, uh, but, uh, uh, you know, we finally come back and uh the goal for this is you know this is going to be like a little bridge uh you have a little bit of a sight line down to the hyper jump there uh but uh and then on the other side you're going to have a little bit of a water reservoir 
uh, and uh, you know maybe the water is going to trickle down in there. I haven't decided, but uh, you know we do need to get a lot of rock work in uh, on the side, and uh, you know I kind of planned as if that water is not going to get in there. Um, obviously, we don't keep the whole thing as as rock there, but um, we do sprinkle in some uh, some dirt, some different bushes and shrubs and whatnot, and. Uh, you know, we're actually doing some work by the hyper jump, which is pretty exciting because uh, that would be a great ride to get open. Uh, but uh, that that ride is going to have a whole whole episode dedicated to itself once we get to it. So, uh, and that's still quite a few episodes out because uh, we got a lot to do to get there. So, uh, we go ahead and uh, continue to finish up this bridge here. Uh, we do start to work on some of the hillside. Uh, at some point, uh, but uh, there's a lot of terrain work that we do in here. Uh, try not to make it too tall for the car ride, uh, but obviously uh, we need to uh, find a way to, to get it all to blend in a little bit better. Um, we don't really focus on the side that we're working on right now. We, we do add in those rocks there, but uh, there's not much more on that because there's uh, some other things that are going to go in over there. Uh, and then, of course, we add in our fences around rally racers. Uh, and uh, I was on, uh, no pun intended, on the fence about how I wanted to use the fences around this area. Um, did I want to do some type of custom fence? And I, I ended up deciding not to. Um, I don't think this is going to be an area of the park that we're going to see that much. Um, so, uh, you know, I just kind of left, uh, I used the in-game fences, I uh, got those kind of planned out here, and, uh, you know, I think they, they do a good enough job, and you know, where we are going to see it, they're going to be fine, because that area is pretty level, so, um, you can see, uh, we're still now having to readjust some of these fences, now, obviously, if you're on the ride, you're going to see it, but that's not that big of a concern, so, um, like getting in more rocks, more rocks, and then we do sink in some uh, big oak trees uh, on the side to kind of fill in that area to re reduce the amount of uh, bushes and whatnot that we're going to be placing in there. But uh, we do get a ton of rocks. Uh, we do add in still quite a few bushes. Um, but uh, I, I like the, the look of the oak trees in here. I think it kind of works well for this type of hillside and uh, still have the rocks and whatnot so uh, we keep those in still add some bushes around there is a lot of foliage work in this episode um, really that's all we work on we don't build any buildings the closest thing is the bridge that we've already done uh, of course we did build the coaster uh, which is nice but um, aside from that there's not really that much else that we do um, until we get to the later portion of the time lapse, uh, which we're uh, about halfway through, maybe a little less than half, halfway at this point. So now we're just kind of working on this uh, this little uh, pond here, uh, which uh, you know I think kind of adds a nice little touch here. Um, it is in a little bit odd location, being that it's so close to the window and water's not going to be rushing into that window, but yeah. You know, uh, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, we do get some lily pads in there as well, which of course uh, did not uh, want to be on the water there for me. But um, adding in some trees now, uh, uh, our big thing after we uh, adjust Seer Squad here again uh, is trying to make sure that people don't get uh, uh, their head chopped off as they go underneath here. So uh, we do a good job in finding a nice little solution it does tighten up our turn a little bit but I, I think it was a, a good compromise to to uh, to find here uh, for uh, for the ride itself so um, you can see it's still a little bit purple there we still try and make some uh, better adjustments which uh, again it does seem to uh, turn out pretty nice here at the end Now, uh, we'll take another quick ride on this, uh, which it'll be over well before you can see or have any idea what happened. 
Um, we do not ride this, by the way, in the uh, live portion. We're going to save it until uh, we get the whole thing completed. So uh, that is something that's going to come uh, because, uh, you know, there still could be some changes uh, to it as we go through. So uh, we're going to leave that at the moment. Uh, we do try and get some uh, steel beams here to, uh, you know, just for the parts where the wooden coaster goes over, I think it just adds a nice little bit of realism. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's a, it's a very simple thing to do. Um, it was a little bit annoying on these parts where it was, uh, it was curved in a little bit, but, uh, it, it wasn't, wasn't that bad. So, uh, we get those in and then, uh, I think we start uh f working on that final that final turn for the wooden coaster we start adding some custom supports um i think that's what's coming next so um this should soon be done we only had a couple uh spots where this passed over uh and uh, we should be finishing up here yep uh, we did have to make some modifications. I don't remember if I did it on camera or not while I was recording. Um, some of them were a little bit too low for the car ride, so we did raise them back up. Um, so, uh, you know, if they're slightly different than what they were in the time lapse here. Um, uh, this one was definitely fine, because this one was very high up compared to the others. Uh, and it was really the one that was just off the bridge from Rally Racers. Um, the, the bridge we built in the last episode, that is. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So, now, uh, we're gonna go ahead and focus on trying to get our, uh, don't die fencing in here, as a lot of people refer to it. Uh, and again, this is, uh, I was debating again, do I make my own fence for this? And I just didn't think it was necessary. I don't think this is going to be an, a focal area for the park. Now, uh, this turn here, um, we do a version of a custom fence with the chain link fence that we're using. So, um, there is that, but, uh, otherwise, uh, it is pretty much just the, uh, the in-game fences that we're using. And, uh, you know, I was conflicted about, you know, even putting, they wouldn't, or like if I wanted to remove the wooden fence there, and I was like, you know what, it's already in, just leave it, uh, and we'll go uh, from there. So, uh, once we uh, get the this little area done here, uh, I think we do, we might start on the other side as well. Uh, not sure, obviously we don't want people to be able to get to any part of that. Um, because uh, that is certainly a dangerous area. Uh, uh, yeah, so we add in some cable work um, for this turn, because that turn is elevated pretty high off the ground. That would have some pretty good forces uh, on it, and I did not have space to add wooden uh, supports on the other side, so we just go with the cables um, into a concrete footer, um, because that will kind of hold it and prevent it from... Uh, flexing too much. Now, this turn, uh, we definitely uh, have the space to go ahead and put in these uh, this extra supports here. Uh, and, uh, you know, this actually, I think, turns out really nice. Uh, I'm really happy. I, I've never actually custom supported a wooden coaster in this game, so um, we're obviously not doing the whole thing. Um, cause that would be insane considering the wooden supports actually look pretty decent. Um, but, uh, you know, it, we do need some extra support here around the turn. Um, so, uh, we, uh, start adding some of these in, uh, we work on getting our cross beams in here and obviously we're, uh, trying to line these up and, you know, there was probably an easier way to do this, uh, than the way that I did, but, you know. We did what we did, so uh, let me go ahead and grab a sip of my beverage. Just having some nice water today, so 
yeah, so uh, we start getting in these cross beams. Uh, I was worried about some of those beams being too big because I was using the haunted house pillar beams rather than the actual wooden beams because uh, I thought they looked a little bit cleaner. And, uh, you know, once you get it in here, you don't notice it at all. Um, and, of course, we get in some uh, concrete footers uh, to uh, make this uh, a little blend in a little bit more like it's supposed to be there because it wouldn't just be going into dirt and whatnot so yeah so uh, we go ahead and uh, uh, we start adding in some of the cross beams um, and uh, you know thankfully this isn't too high off the ground so uh, it makes it a little bit easier uh, to be able to work with that and uh, of course we were offsetting the beams so uh, we didn't have any Z fighting on them because that does get to me after so long so um, yeah uh, just taking our time getting through this this was probably the more tedious part but uh, the result is fantastic uh, and then uh, the last part that we're going to do is we're going to put some diagonal cross beams uh, and for uh, the way that would make sense uh, and of course uh, that uh, uh, is a little bit easier I believe we're able to use some of the longer beams so we didn't have as many um, at least on some of the beams that are the cross sections that are going uh, up near the top here uh, but let's see. yeah so yeah so those uh, you can see we are just cruising through getting these down and uh you know it just looks like it's part of the structure uh so uh you know that we completed that exactly as intended um and then uh, after that uh it just becomes putting in the rest of the foliage so there's a lot of tree and rock work here uh coming up uh before we get into the last bit of the time lapse but uh you know it is a necessary evil that you want to put in here and you know it's probably one of the easier things to do because you can really just as long as you don't go crazy with one type of tree and you're rotating things you can really just kind of go crazy click hit z rotate it hold shift to move things up and down uh so they're not all on the same platform and uh yeah it, it'll it, it'll all go pretty easily here for you so um, uh, we did need to re, uh, rework the, the fence here though before we get into that. Uh, and oh, we uh, jump into the uh, the uh, half custom fence uh, coming up here. So um, yeah, you can see we're trying to, to line everything up here and get this all in there. So obviously we take the wooden fence and because we didn't have a lot of space so we obviously we're going to use the uh, don't die fencing up against the uh, rally racers. Uh, you can see we're messing with the seer squad again a little bit uh, changing a bunch of prices uh, and that doesn't work. Um, so uh, yeah here we go uh, into the uh, fencing portion. So uh, the first fence that we make is for the path. Uh, and this is just a, a nice little wooden and chain link fence uh, that we're just going to use to uh, outline the path here. And, uh, you know, I think it looks pretty nice. Uh, uh, it's something very different from the rest of the park, um, but this area is going to be a little bit different uh, compared to the rest of the park. So uh, it is going to be a little bit more wooded. Uh, it's going to lead into uh, the cave. Uh, as well as uh, another area that will be coming up in the future here. Um, uh, we go in, we add some uh, different rocks and whatnot. Uh, and, uh, you know, I didn't want this area to have as hard of a cutoff or drop off because um, there wasn't going to be any type of retaining wall. So uh, this is going to be a heavily, heavily, uh, like thick area of trees and brush and stuff like that. So, um, 
Uh, and I think it turns out pretty nice. We do add some trees in here uh, and we're being very deliberate with where we place some of these trees. Uh, for one, we obviously didn't want to get in the way of the wooden coaster because that would, that would be terrible. Um, but uh, we also wanted to make sure that, you know, if we were covering uh, a sight line that's not there yet. So uh, I was very aware of what I was doing and how I was placing those. Uh, we still may need to make some changes, like if I if I missed anything or if I placed something where I probably shouldn't have. But um, you know, we needed some tall trees in this area because of of the area that this is supposed to be. So uh, we do get in an oak tree, uh, which uh, kind of fills in a lot of it and isn't that tall, so that works out really good. And you can see we're uh, still putting in some some uh, bushes and whatnot uh, on the side of the mountain. So uh, this little area here uh, is just going to be a little bit cleaner uh, grass uh, so you can kind of see into the car ride. Uh, and then of course the fencing uh, around the coaster which I finally got to. So uh, the base for this fence is going to be logs and uh, it's going to be three of the big chain link fences long. Uh, and of course we go back in and rotate the log so it doesn't look like they're all the same. Uh, we update those to about the top uh, of that so they just have a little bit more sticking out and then obviously we put in some wooden beams uh, to uh, kind of just smooth that out here a little bit. Uh, and then the bottom obviously for the bottom piece and then we leave the metal piece at the top because I thought it looked fine uh, and then just adding in some little little bushes uh, to get that uh, a little bit more thick brush there so uh, the last little area here obviously we need to get in between here uh, we do add in uh, some taller trees to block off some of those sight lines uh, and uh, overall I think that we are done with that area uh, and then into something that I've been saying that I've been gonna that I have been going to do for a long time just haven't done it uh, and it's not mess with the restaurant uh, it is adding in speakers for uh, the different areas of the park so the first one that we do here uh, is Rally Racer. Uh, it's going to have its own uh, speaker uh, audio. Um, and, uh, you know, I thought, you know, I could put it in so that it goes with the vehicle, but I was like, no, because then it starts and it's going to have the same at every, on every car at the same exact point in every, every ride. So I went in and I made a custom, uh, I shouldn't necessarily say custom, but uh, I took some of the ads from the shop sounds uh, and I took, actually, no, I just took the entire shop sound. So uh, I let that play for like eight minutes uh, and cut it out and made it into an MP3 file and put that in there. So. That is actually going to be playing all around Rally Racers uh, now. And I also lowered the level, the volume, because whenever you have the display speakers in here, it is extremely loud. So we lowered that. Um, and then uh, that sound is actually also going to be on the baggage carousel. So that's what we're doing now, putting in those speakers around around the, uh, uh, the track here. And uh, like I said, this is... It's the same as Rally Racers, so it's the Planko radio. So it's as if they're playing the same thing. So I tried to line them up um, so that they're playing at the same time. So if you go to one side of the park, you get the same thing as if you're at the other side. I don't know how well that worked, but we tried. So we'll see what happens. Uh, and there are a lot. There's a lot of speakers here. Uh, so uh, that certainly... Uh, takes uh took some time to get in here and uh get them all and then make sure i select them all and get them synced up with the, the display sequencer um 
Also, I moved the sequencers uh, at some point here uh, to the top of the admin building because uh, I didn't like that the sequencers themselves played the music. So uh, I didn't want the sequencer to be super visible, so we just moved it over to the admin. Now there's a mishmash of mash of audio being played at the top of that building. So um, you can see we're trying to mess around with it. I was really struggling with getting it to work for a while. Uh, and uh, yeah, so uh, there you can see I was having an issue with uh, the uh, baggage carousel. Uh, every time we went on to the ride itself, it, it was stuck in the black, the blackout area. So uh, that was something interesting that we had to adjust and fix. So we got that going. Uh, and then uh, uh, we go back into it. Now, the f next part is going to be the, uh, the park entrance. And, uh, you know, at this point, I was trying to do things with the uh, day-night cycle working or operating so uh, that's why you're going to see some nighttime shots and stuff in here um, but eventually we do turn that off but um, we go ahead and we just add a bunch of different speakers uh, to the uh, light poles in here this is uh, a couple of the ads from the uh, shop radio and uh, two of the uh, I think it's the Welcome to Planet Coaster. I think there's two versions of that. So we used both versions to make it a little bit longer. And we could add some in, some different ads in. Uh, I think it's like a seven minute audio track. Um, so we'll hear that uh, as we go through the park. Uh, and, uh, you know, that one tends to work the best. Uh, I'm not really sure why, but uh, for whatever reason it does. So uh, we got those in here. Uh, and... Uh, I think soon, I think we do move everything to the admin building here shortly, and I think I might have done it off camera. So, uh, next area is the Matford Airfield. This is going to uh, still have some shop ads uh, mixed in here, uh, but I use some of the time lapse music, some of the lower, slower time lapse music, uh, because I felt like that might be stuff that you would hear in an airport. So. Uh, plus, it just adds some nice ambience, so uh, definitely add that. You can see we've moved everything to the top there now. Uh, and uh, this one is still pretty loud uh, around the park, but uh, overall, uh, I'm pretty happy with it. And then uh, we move into the center park, which again, more shop ads, uh, more time-lapse music. Uh, this one was pretty quick and simple because uh, it just had to go down and uh, put speakers on the uh, skyride poles. Uh, I did leave an area by the carousel uh, without sound because uh, obviously the carousel is projecting its own sound. Uh, and uh, the last part is the Steel Eagle Courtyard. So, uh, you know, that is uh, a smaller area at the moment. So uh, that has its own, but I think that has the longest cycle. I think I picked some longer tracks for whatever reason. Um, but, uh, you know, once we get these audio uh, speakers in, uh, this all seems to just kind of make the park feel a little bit more alive. Uh, now, during this process, I did notice that uh, I had a big vandalism problem uh, at uh, the entrance of Matford Airfield. So uh, we addressed that in the uh, in the live portion here. But uh, we are quickly wrapping up the time lapse here. Uh, so uh, you can see I'm just trying to uh, troubleshoot some issues that I was having with the speaker, which isn't anything significant. But uh, we get all of that working. So uh, I will let you finish out the time lapse here, and I will see you in the live portion. All right, and here we are in the live portion of today's video. And uh, we didn't do a whole lot in terms of theming. We did finish off this area here, and you saw we built a brand new wooden roller coaster. Uh, and uh, this is currently an unnamed roller coaster. Uh, but I am really, really happy with the way this turned out. Uh, 
really like the way it, it looks uh, and the way it nestles itself in here. Uh, but, uh, you know, as we look around here, you can see we finished off the car ride. Whoa, we're going to really throw our uh, everything around here. Uh, but you can see we finished off the car ride. We got a little bridge here that is uh, that looks down in through the window here into the hyper jump, which is not currently open. Um, so that is getting closer and closer to getting uh, some work done on it. Uh, but we still have a bit for that. Uh, and, uh, you know, this area of the uh, rally racers is a dirt road. So uh, that's kind of where the rally name come from. Uh, and you can see there's a lot of uh, rocks. We got some water in here. Uh, of course, the wooden bridge here uh, just to kind of make things a little different. And then, of course, it goes uh, under the wooden roller coaster quite a bit uh, before it heads back down. Uh, it goes across the bridge here. Um, but yeah, not a whole, whole lot of stuff that we've done. Uh, we did add some very thick vegetation uh, in along the side. We've added a bunch of trees um, that uh, are going to somewhat obstruct view, um, but uh, I didn't want to completely obstruct it because there is going to be uh, a uh, structure at the top of the hyper jump here. So, um, uh, they are carefully placed, um, so like you can see, if you're walking through here, uh, you do still have a clear view of that. Uh, and then also, uh, from different areas where it is blocking, uh, not necessarily here, you do have a little bit of a view. Uh, and then, of course, you can see it a little bit over here, too. And, uh, back here, where it is pretty much completely blocked, uh, until you start coming over here, which it still may be blocked here. I haven't decided what I'm going to do in this scenario, but we didn't uh, finish the wooden roller coaster. It was never planned to be finished here, but I knew I needed to do it so I could get the car ride done. Plus, I thought a little lighter episode here uh, would not be a bad thing. Uh, so I also, since we didn't do a lot of uh, uh, theming and whatnot, we added in... Uh, some speakers and ambient sounds uh, all around the park. So uh, we have a whole bunch of different audio. Uh, I made some, I wouldn't say custom because I didn't actually make the audio, but I did splice them together uh, and mix them around. I also added in the, so like for the shops, let's see if we can find a shop here. Uh, so you hear the shop sound the shop music. Um, I found some of the ads that are uh, that play for the shops and I mix them in with all of the audio files that I I made I spliced together. So um, you'll hear those as we go around. You can, you can hear right now we've got a, a specific track going through the uh, the middle of the park here as we come over into the Steel Eagle Courtyard. This has a different soundtrack. So uh, we've got that going on. Uh, of course, there's not too much going on by the carousel because that has uh, the carousel music. Uh, the park entrance has the grand entrance style music uh, all the way down the parking lot. I also removed some cameras uh, that weren't necessary here uh, and yes these are still pretty far spread apart but they would still catch what's needed um, so they have that uh, if we jump into the airfield there is uh, the, the airfield has its own sound and then uh, the last two are the baggage carousel has a track that uh, it plays, uh, which you can't really hear all that well, but I'm not too concerned about that. We, we don't need that much music. And then Wally Racers also has its own track, so uh, that is something uh, that you can hear when you're on the traction, I think. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was really struggling get, trying to get the, the uh, loudness of the videos 
the decibels to be correct. Because um, I didn't want to just be zooming around here and having it overpower me uh, as I'm thinking uh, about what I'm working on. Uh, I also noticed there was an issue with uh, uh, aerial attack uh, with the trigger sequence in here, which I uh, kind of did a... Um, I tried to fix, but I don't know if I did it. I didn't really put a lot of effort into it. Uh, I don't think it's that big of a concern. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, overall I think the park is in uh, pretty decent shape. Uh, we were making money through most of this. However, uh, recently when I started doing the audio, we started to have some issues. Uh, and also I did open up Seer Squad. Uh, because uh, I thought we were getting enough people walking around. So uh, we'll see what that is. I also reset the uh, the pricing for it because uh, I clearly messed something up when I first did it. So uh, we'll go back through that and see what it is. But uh, let's go ahead. Let's get into oh, let's get into our management features. You can see we're right at three hundred dollars. Uh, we are starting to make money again, which is good. Uh, but anyway. Uh, our overview happiness is at 94%, uh, and that has dropped, and that uh, is because there was a wave of vandals that went through the park. Uh, so we are going to have to address that. Happiness, 98% for the staff. Uh, we do have two rides broken down, so we will have to address that. Uh, but overall, everything is still pretty good. Monthly profits, obviously, not great here. Uh, uh, I had a cerebral time, security, yes, pickpockets, that is a problem. Um, finances, uh, yeah, like I said, we are starting to make a little bit more money here. Uh, we're starting to come out of it. You can see we lost a little bit there, so uh, there is that. And uh, Oh, uh, I completely forgot. Uh, because I opened it up the restaurant, uh, Seer Squad, we completed a challenge, so let's go ahead and claim that reward. Uh, get a thousand dollars, so that is uh, big. That's big money for us uh, to kind of balance this out a little bit. Uh, yeah, so because of that, we made thirteen hundred dollars for that month, so that's good. Um, no loans. You can see there's some weird things going on with shops and stalls and all that. Losing five thousand dollars and making over five thousand and losing three thousand and I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but uh, anyway, research, marketing, nothing going on. Staff. So this is a p area of concern uh, that we have at the moment. So you can see we've already lost five hundred dollars or a thousand dollars, which is wild. But um, we got everything going on in the background. Uh, our entertainers, no issues with the entertainers. They are looking really good. Uh, and by the way, if you want to be a part of the park, please let me know in the comment section uh, what position you'd like to be, uh, and we will get you in here just like Daniel Pospichal, K Dancer, Alfie, and, and Clan of Moraine. Uh, we can get you in here uh, and hired and working at the park. Um, now, janitors, this is something that we need to focus on here. So the, uh, oh, we have insufficient funds. Um, I was wondering why that was flashing at me. Um, so, oh, click the wrong thing. So Park Center is really taking a hit here because the Seer Squad is just a disgusting mess all of the time. So we are going to hire a janitor to kind of help with this area. Now we do need to get our colors here. So we got purple, we got that, we got that, and we got this. And then we will bring this guy in with the same colors. So, uh, Lauren, love it. Uh, welcome to the park. Uh, we cannot train him yet, so we will assign him to park center. Uh, and we are going to need to increase the... Oh, Jesus, what's going on there? Uh, we are going to have to train him to 70. 
uh, dollars, so that is fine. Uh, now, uh, vendors, I don't think we have an issue with vendors. They all tend to be pretty all right here. Uh, we do want the lower trained people to have a uh, less workload, so that's good. Uh, there was only one person with high. And let's see what they were. Uh, Goku over 9,000. Uh, he is one of our best, or they are one of our best uh, staff members, so uh, we have no interest in changing him out there. Uh, they are doing a great job. Mechanics, this is another problem. Uh, we need, um, I know they all say normal, but uh, let's just go take a look over here down uh, as we enter into uh, the Matford Airfield. And for whatever reason, all of these benches are broken. And I have no idea when, why, or what's going on. So <laughs> there is clearly some type of issue in this area of the park that I cannot figure out. You can see it just continues to expand up here. So we're going to get two mechanics. Uh, so let's just do one and then two. And uh, these guys, we're going to have one that's just going to be dedicated. Uh, actually, let's see, what can we do here? We got Sean Kochek <laughs> the names, the names for these guys. Um, I don't, I don't understand. Oh, Glenn Lavelle, level. Uh, let's get colors for Glenn. Uh, and then Sean, uh, we gotta get you all sorted out here. Milton Decker, welcome to the team as well. One there. All right, so that will get them up there now. Uh, we are going to want one of them to be in uh, the Matford Airfield. Uh, and then we will want another one to be in Park Center. So uh, Park Center is uh, uh, it sprawls. Um, from all the way down here, and then it gets Rally Racers, which you have to go all the way up around there. So um, we can actually take uh, Milton that we have selected here, and we'll just drop him in there. Uh, make sure he drops in the right spot. Yep. Um, so that will start getting him going. Uh, and that's going to cost us some more money, but... Uh, Overall, I think that should be all right. And you can see he's already working on getting stuff here. He's getting paid so much his happiness is pretty mediocre. Uh, we are going to just put him on benches for now. Uh, Sean, you have a job and it's not inspecting stunt pilot. But uh, you know what? Go ahead and knock yourself out here. Uh, wait. What's this person taking forever to do here? Whatever. Uh, it's fine. Um, so, uh, yeah. So we got that going. Security guards. I don't think there's too much concern here. Uh, it would be nice to train up TRM memories, but we do not have the, the funding to do that. So, uh, so that is uh, exciting. But hopefully, that the mechanics being in here that will uh, increase our availability. Yeah, we've dropped 500 guests because of whatever's happened here. Uh, we need to get all of our stuff repaired, and I'm not going to take the cheap way out and click the button at the end. 
Um, if it was just one or two, fine, whatever. But there is a ton. Actually, let's see how much we have here. Um, there are 59 benches in the park, and then there are 30 bins. Like 89 things in the park. 10% of our things are damaged at the moment. Um, we probably need to get more. We probably need to get another mechanic on just that. So uh, let's get one of our. Not. No, we don't want to do that. Let's get Glenn. Let's get Glenn. Uh, no, vandalisms. There we go. So that should, uh, that should help with that. Uh, and then, uh, you know, let's keep going. Uh, security, I think, is fine. I think our work rosters are all right. Now, our guests, 93% uh, happiness. Again, that is because of all the vandalized objects. So that will get fixed. That's the, this is the first time we've seen this issue. Uh, in the park, so that's something that you know I, I really wish I knew what had happened because um, I didn't see anything that pop popped up that would have caused that. But uh, we got people that need the bathroom. Litter litter is starting to become an issue, but that's why we hired uh, a new janitor. Uh, our attractions now. Uh, Generally speaking, I think they are pretty okay. Uh, we've definitely had some that have lost us some money. Um, Skyride being one stunt pilot lost us some money. The Scissor lost us money, which is weird because that usually doesn't. Um, but uh, Solar Eclipse made us money. Carousel made us money. Air Traffic Controls made us money. Hercules, you know, there's a lot of rides that are making us money. Empyrean had a low, low month for what it's used to. Uh, Solar Eclipse is aging already. Uh, Rally Racers, uh, almost a $1,000, so that's really good. Uh, baggage Carousel, Steel Eagle. Those should start to help balance everything out, uh, and I'm not too concerned about any of that. Obviously, uh, the Gnarler, Hyper Jump, Whirly Rig are not open, so uh, those aren't going to be doing too much for us. Now our shops, this is where uh, it's going to cost us uh, some money here uh, to get going. Now propeller smoothies, these tend to do the most uh, and that is usually when uh, things are breaking down. So that's probably a good indication of what happened the last couple months. Uh, ooh, we got people, we're missing sales here on Gulpy Slush, so let's just do a quick little 10 cent reduction on everything uh, for those. Uh, Tiki Cheeky, uh, no miss sales, I think we are good on those. Bear Paw Eats, I don't think we're missing sales there either. Uh, ooh, missing a lot of sales here, uh, but we just dropped those, so uh, Rusty Guchin's on his way, so that should be fine. Uh, vending machines we're not concerned about. Barrel rolls, are we losing, we're missing sales here too. Let's just do a quick little 10 cent reduction. Uh, Cosmic Cows, so they actually made some money. Uh, we missed five sales. Not concerned. You know, we'll do it. We'll do it just to drop it down. So, we got that. Uh, Mangio Fritz. That's good. Uh, vending machine, vending machine. Uh, and then let's take a look at the ones that we're losing money on. Uh, Bear Paw eats pizza pen. Uh, losing a little bit here. Let's just... Do a quick little 10 cent reduction there. Uh, tickets, we know that's going to be a, an issue. Uh, Steel Eagle Gift Shop, I think that is for, somehow, for some reason missing 
sales there too, so let's go ahead and drop that. Uh, Cosmic Cow Ice Cream. We're just missing a sale here or two, but it's really kind of odd. Um, this is probably going to be similar. Yeah, I missed a sale. That's fine. Uh, baggage balloons. All of these shops are just missing a couple sales, which is just a bit annoying. Uh, and then live in set. That's fine. Uh, Tiki Cheeky, that's fine. And Corky's is fine. Uh, did I do this one? Yeah, okay. So well, that's it for the shops. Uh, we've started making money again, so let's drop, jump into our staff here again quick. Uh, we will get uh, TRM trained up one more. Uh, we are also going to go to Lauren. We're going to train up both of our our uh, park center uh, janitors there um, because they're going to they need to start working a little bit harder. So uh, let's go back in here. We will take a look now. Our facilities, obviously, we're losing a bunch of money on those. We can't do much with those. Uh, the crane games, we're not too focused on those. Sleepy Steward, still doing exactly what we need it to do. Uh, just making a little bit of money. Uh, that's all we're asking, so that's good. Uh, Seer so Squad, almost profitable. Um, now, like I said, we kind of started, we missed sales last month. Um, and that is partly because of the... Uh, uh, what's it called? The cleanliness of it. So, um, actually, let's reset the inventory here. So, um, I thought I had done that before, but I guess I did not. Um, we will still get all of these going here, and we'll see what happens with this now. Um, ooh, I don't want to do that. Uh, so that... We'll see how that impacts. I assume we will still lose money because we are uh, significantly less than what it was prior. So uh, so that one's going to take a little bit more work as we go through everything. Um, but uh, you can see we are starting to get stuff repaired. Uh, and that is certainly taking uh, its time to get stuff going. So... Uh, Overall, I think we're doing all right. Uh, we did start to make money again, which is good. And that is, oh, we're actually making money with the shops this, this month. Uh, so that is awesome. But uh, yeah, a little bit different episode um, compared to what we had seen in the past. Uh, and uh, I think uh, we're heading in the right direction here. We just need to uh, keep going. Uh, and hopefully get some more uh, things ironed out here. We can get all of our... <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, everyone's happy. Oh, Golby and Captain Lockjaw are there. Um, yeah, hopefully uh, we can get things tidied up here and uh, uh, start moving in the right direction again. So... Uh, I do hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like. If you saw something I could have done better, let me know in the comment section. And if you saw something, or if you want to see some more awesome Planet Coaster content, please subscribe to the channel. So again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Later!